Do you remember a few months ago when we went to San Francisco and converted that Dell Soul string quartet webpage to AMP? Ah, those were the days. Life was simpler then. The nice thing about this is now it's an AMP. Wow. There it is. Nice. That's so much faster, yeah. In our video, though, we didn't talk about how we converted their two-level menu to AMP, or how we made that menu responsive. The good news is, it's not hard once you know how. So let's do it. Oh, and the quartet isn't here today, so we had to go a little DIY. First of all, we use a media query to show a desktop menu on desktops and a mobile menu on mobile devices. For desktops, Fortunately, the original site's menu uses only CSS, no JavaScript. That's great for smooth animations and for AMP. So we'll keep that. But as the site has no mobile menu, we'll build one from scratch. I visited ampstart.com, and what do you know? I found a sample of a lovely two-level menu right there. We'll model ours on that one. So here's the plan. First, we create a one-level menu. Next, we make the second level, and finally, we'll build the buttons that show and hide the menu. So first, the one-level menu. AMP sidebar is an AMP component that creates a sidebar that slides in and out of the screen. When the sidebar is visible, the rest of the page will darken slightly. And this is perfect for a mobile menu. We're not going to copy AMP Start's CSS framework and HTML classes, but it's not hard to just take the CSS rules we want and adapt them to the existing page design. So first, we'll create our sidebar. We set layout to no display because when the page first loads, the menu isn't yet visible. For the menu items, we'll do what most sites do and use an unordered list. Each element of the list contains a navigation link. We add our CSS and voila, victory. Next, we'll add in the second level. How will it expand and contract? AMP components can create most common web interactions. The trick is to find the ones that work best for your use case. The AMP start sample here creates that second level with an AMP accordion component. I like this. An AMP accordion contains multiple section elements. Each section is an area that can be expanded and contracted. Each section also contains two children. The first child is the accordion's heading, which is what you see when it's contracted. The second child contains the body, what you see when it expands. In our accordion, each heading will be a top-level menu. Each body will be a submenu. For example, the desktop menu has an About menu with three submenu items. For this, we build an AMP accordion with one section, where the heading is About and the body is a list of those submenu items. Finally, we need a button to open the menu and a button to close it. That means we need event handlers. Here's how you might do that with our old friend jQuery. On click here specifies this will handle a click event. The dollar sign sidebar retrieves the element with a sidebar ID. And hide is a jQuery method that hides that element. In AMP, it's the same idea. AMP just uses the on attribute to bind an event to a DOM element. Tap specifies that this will handle a tap on touch devices or a mouse click on desktops. Sidebar specifies the element that will change. AMP Sidebar supports three special actions, open, close, and toggle. Here, we use toggle. And that's how we create the button that opens the menu. The close button is similar. On tap, toggle the sidebar. This menu required some styling, but then it worked right away. Well, mostly. As usual, when you write code, we hit a few gotchas. My gotchas were caused by minor conflicts between AMP and the site's original HTML and CSS. First of all, the original menu was enclosed in a few wrapper divs, whose purpose was to show the fire that appears on the sides of the screen. I kept our mobile menu in the same place, but this caused an AMP validation error since AMP sidebar needs to be a direct child of body and ours wasn't. Fortunately, it wasn't hard to move the AMP sidebar out to the top level. One more gotcha. When the sidebar appears, AMP uses an overlay mask to darken the rest of the screen. In our case, though, the sidebar darkened as well. Why? 
It turns out that the overlay divs in the original page use Z indices, and one of those rudely overrode the Z index that AMP sidebar uses. I just had to make those Z indices lower than AMP sidebars. So, now that we've fixed those gotchas, our menu works, and it's beautiful. <laughs> to learn more about building websites with AMP, check out the documentation on ampproject.org. You can find the menu sample we use today on ampstart.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the AMP channel. Thanks for joining us on AMP Up.